Here we go. Kentucky. September 6th? 7th? Going in off the edge of some private here. Taking a pretty good walk. Get on the edge of some beans. Right inside corner. Look for some tracks. It's pretty wet. This front is is beautiful. Let's go. I'm ready. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity. I'll be able to come down here and enjoy your creation. My biggest prayer right now is this message gets to somebody in need or needs to hear this. I put you in your word first. Live by you. And we'll do our best to show that through deer honey. We go out here and have some fun in Kentucky and keep us safe, happy, healthy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I just heart shot him. I just heart shot him. I just shot him. He's gonna die. Stuck him again. Stuck him again. I stuck him again at forty five. Just gotta give him time. All right, y'all. Good morning. It's about what seven o'clock now. Came back out here. Time to look for this buck. I brought Justin out here. He's only about, what, about an hour and a half-ish yeah. from where I was at. So, brought the drone out. Obviously, the deer's gonna be dead, so we're not worried about, I'm not trying to hunt him. We're just trying to find him since he's in a private bean field before we have to go ask permission. So, let's see how it goes. Getting ready to take off. Which way am I heading? 
So head straight north. Which just you're gonna go straight over. All right. Um, these beans are really tall. Last night when this buck came through, he almost had the lip curl for me to even see him in the middle of the beans, which is right where he ran to last night. So the drone didn't really do us much good. We can go put some boots on the ground and get our hands on them. I'm excited. Let's go. Well, not uh, not the ending that we wanted here. Overall, on my tracker, when we got back, we tracked that deer for about a mile. Um, dried, dark red blood through the beans. And then shortly after he got out of the beans and back into the hardwoods, he uh, it started to open back up and it was wet blood. We found some beds, but there was no blood in it, but we honestly think we jumped him out of that bedding area. And then lost blood completely. Check down in the drainage. I, I think we covered our basis here. I, I mean, we did everything in our power to find that deer. And I think he's still alive. I, yeah, I mean, more than likely this deer's still right alive. Now. I wish I had the good footage to go back and look at, but I just can't tell where I hit. Um, all right, yo, we're back. Just trying to get my head in the game here. I was able to shoot my bow, figure out that, that that wasn't the issue. So, wish I had some answered questions about what happened, but uh, I don't, unfortunately. So, what do you do, man? As a bow hunter, you just got to adapt and overcome. So, going into a different spot tonight. Uh, high hopes with this north wind. It's a lot cooler still. It's only 76 degrees. It's almost one o'clock right now. So I'm gonna start getting geared up here in a minute and uh, head in. Uh, tonight's gonna be a hub hunt. So go in, have some fun. Uh, the area is known to have some pretty decent deer. So like I said before, I don't I don't have any, any stipulations. I first out of state hunt last night had a great opportunity and just I I don't know if I pulled it I mean I obviously pulled it got shot but I we run out of blood after a mile so uh, we did our did my due diligence for that deer um, unfortunately don't have a lot of time to just sit and wait on him for buzzards so the meat's already probably bad by now if he's laying dead but what do you do other than uh move on so we're gonna go in this area it's quite a walk um yeah catch you in the tree
bat. Boys, it's over. It's over. Day two, tag punched. Let's go. Killer's gonna kill. You know, there's something about just enjoying this out here in God's creation. You know, that's, that's why we are able to do this. That big man upstairs had different plans for me this weekend. And this is it. My first ever velvet, my first ever out of state. I couldn't be happier with this deer. If you guys aren't running a mobile setup, I don't care if it's custom gear, latitude, tethered, saddle hunting, stand hunting, just be mobile. That is why I'm, that's why I've, I'm successful. That's, that's this deer right here. I've never been here, never. This is the first time I've set foot in here. I come down this creek bank behind me and it was raining acorns in here like crazy. I'm actually gonna go up and put some with this buck when I mount him. Cause that, I mean, woodsmanship and staying mobile. I mean, I don't have anything else to say. What an incredible experience, an incredible weekend. And I'm surprised I don't see Justin running down the creek yet. What a beautiful animal. Oh, on top of everything, the arrow I shot my buck with yesterday. All right, guys are gonna give me crap for it, but I had to move on from that deer. I honestly think he's still alive. With what he gave us, I, I don't know where I hit him. I don't know if it was, if it's guts, he's dead, unfortunately, but as bow hunters, we just gotta, adapt and overcome it comes with the territory unfortunately but when you can follow through be resilient come through on the other side of it it's what we end up with right here a beautiful beautiful kentucky buck thank you buddy you're gonna you're gonna do good in the house dude I'll catch y'all later. I hope I got a lot of this on film. Dustin's been on this grind with me ever since I got down here. He's been such a huge help. Dude, he leaves to go to, Ida I think it's Idaho, two o'clock tomorrow morning. He's coming out here again to help me get this deer out. I'm gonna go to his place after he goes in. I'm gonna get him cut up, get him in the cooler. We're on our way back to Ohio, baby. And guess what? We got a heavy load. All right. Final steps. We're coming up on my boy. Oh, dude, he's hooting and hollering. I can hear him. He is. Oh, dude. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Come here. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Come here. Let's go, Ready? One, two, three. Oh, I can't 
can't, I can't stand up with your legs. You let him go. I got his head. Where do you want me to put his head? Like towards you? What do you think? Tweakers and... Something else. Some big word that I don't know the meaning of. You gotta work smarter, boys. Don't drag them out. We're gonna pull them out. Let's go, baby. Two days. Two days.